The Bitcoin Golden Cross has occurred for the 10th time in its entire history. Last time this happened was in January of this year and Bitcoin moved up 38% over the next six months. However, today we aren't just gonna break down the Golden Cross because we've done that already. We know that it has a historical hit rate of about 50%. So we dug a little deeper and found a pattern that's occurred before every single bull market since 2015. I call it the Double Golden Cross. Yo, that's a double complete rainbow. What's up guys and welcome back to Bitcoin Daily where we make cryptocurrency and trading education simple. If you're tuning in for the first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today's mission is simple. We're doing a quick dive into not only the Bitcoin Golden Cross, but the Bitcoin Double Golden Cross. If you've never heard it before, well, it's because I just made it up. Well, not exactly, but this isn't exactly a technical term that I've ever seen thrown around, but I couldn't help but notice that this pattern has occurred now before every single bull market that we've had since 2015. So whether you're here to learn, trade, or just just to satisfy your crypto curiosity, you're in the right place. So first, let's quickly explain what a golden cross is for those who might be new here. A golden cross occurs when a shorter term moving average, like the 50 day moving average, crosses above a longer term one, like the 200 day moving average, pointing to a potential bullish trend on the horizon. But why is it golden? This isn't just a pretty name. It's considered a golden signal because it can indicate the dawn of an upward trend, a shift from bearish to bullish terrain. And it's not just a crypto phenomenon. From the stock exchange to Forex markets, the Golden Cross is a global event whispered in the corridors of Wall Street, sung in the trading pits of Chicago, and now it echoes in the digital valleys of the crypto universe. It's a universal language of potential growth. History isn't just a collection of dates and events. It's a lens through which we can predict the future, and nowhere is this truer than in the volatile narrative of Bitcoin. Let's take a walk down memory lane. So if we grab this chart and go all the way back to the beginning, to the genesis, we can see that this chart goes back to about 2011. Here are the two Two moving averages so we're just gonna go to the first cross and you can see here that the first cross that it ever had was actually what's known as the death cross this is when the 50 day moving average drops below the 200 day moving average sounds scary doesn't it well because it is this usually means that prices are currently going down and they're probably gonna go even further down but one thing we're gonna notice here is that we had this bounce right here some might call this a dead cat bounce if we zoom in a bit more we can see that we actually got a golden cross here right before a second death cross and after that, as you guys can see, price continued downward. This was known as the original and first ever bear market for Bitcoin. But then something interesting happened. After things bottomed out in July of 2015, we got a golden cross. But as you can see, very soon after, we got another death cross. And about a month later, we got the second golden cross. So when I saw this, I said, huh, that's interesting. We got two death crosses and two golden crosses. So I fast forward to the very next bear market when we got our next death cross. And you can see that we only got one death cross in this scenario, even though we did get that dead cat bounce again. I guess that bounce was just not far enough. Then as we continued forward, fast forward to April of 2019, and we got another golden cross. Just like it happened the previous time, we got another death cross before once again getting a second golden cross. But what was unique in this situation is that we got yet another death cross in March during that pandemic where all markets dumped. And a month later, once again, we got a third golden cross. The way I view this event is a black swan event prices just dumped based on the pandemic when the entire economy basically stopped for a moment so i think this is an outlier and if it wasn't for the pandemic we would have probably only had the two golden crosses so fast forward once again to the top of our previous bull market and you can see yet again we got the death cross two separate times at the top of that bull market fast forward again to january of this year when we got our 10th golden cross in bitcoin's entire history only to see another death cross in september followed by another other golden cross at the end of October. But what exactly drives these outcomes? Well, it's a cocktail of factors, market sentiment, global economic climate, adoption waves, regulatory news. So imagine this, a golden cross occurs and traders take their positions awaiting the rally. But instead of a sustained uptrend, the market cools and the 50 day moving average dips back below the 200 day moving average, only to rise again, forming a second golden cross. This double dip into bullish territory can signal a stronger and more robust market rally ahead. History has shown us that when the stars align for a double golden cross, it's time to pay attention. For Bitcoin, these celestial events don't happen often, but when they do, they're followed closely by a bull market. You can see the proof of that in 2015, when Bitcoin was trading at about $250, right before setting an all-time high at $20,000 two years later. You can see it again in 2019 and 2020, when Bitcoin was trading around $5,000, right before setting its all-time highs at $69,000. And we're seeing it once more with the price of Bitcoin currently sitting at $34,000. 
$1,000. So let's quickly look at some of the data of the golden crosses. Five out of nine golden crosses have been profitable after 180 days. But three times out of three, the double golden crosses has marked the beginning of a new bull run. The average of the previous golden crosses after 90 days plus 34%, after 180 days plus 74%, and after 365 days plus 796%. So to kind of put that into perspective, 90 days from the day of the golden cross will put us towards the end of January of 2024, and a 34% move up will put us around $45,000. That definitely sounds realistic. Now, if you look at 180 days from the day of the golden cross, that puts us around April of 2024, which is just before the Bitcoin halving, which is 187 days, supposed to be on May 8th. If it did the average, which is 74%, that would put Bitcoin's price almost at $60,000, around 58, 59,000 towards the end of April. Again, that does sound pretty realistic. Now the 365 days one is the one that sounds like a bit of a stretch for me. That would be, of course, the end of October of 2024, but that puts Bitcoin's price at around $300,000. Now, can we be conservative and say that Bitcoin hits about a third of that, which would be a measly 200% move and put its price at $100,000 by the end of next year, October? That definitely seems a lot more realistic, right? So as we try to map out our next steps, you gotta remember that position in the market is less about prophecy and more about preparation. Remember that one indicator alone isn't a silver bullet. It should be part of a broader strategy, incorporating other tools and analytics to guide your decisions. And let's not forget, amidst the buzz of predictions and market moves, your most reliable ally is your own research. Dive into the data, read extensively, and question everything. The most informed decision is the one you make for yourself, grounded in your own understanding and risk tolerance. So equip yourself with knowledge, temper your actions with wisdom, and carve a path through the market that aligns with your vision and goals. Remember that the market waits for no one, but it rewards the diligent, the patient, and the prepared. If you found value in our analysis today, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and share this video with your fellow crypto enthusiasts. Your support fuels our quest to demystify the digital currency world. If you want more information on the Golden Cross, check this video out, where we broke down the history behind the Bitcoin Golden Cross. And if you're looking for some Golden Cross confluence, check this video out, where we take a look at the hash ribbon Bitcoin buy signal that has never been wrong. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It's your ticket to the front row whenever we drop new content. Stay informed, stay engaged, and stay ahead of the curve with us.